HDFS data flow. Now let's discuss how the data flows between the client and HDFS, the name node and the data node during file read and file write process. If a client wants to read a file, he initiate the process by invoking open method on the file system object which is implemented as distributed file system. Distributed file system calls the name node using remote procedure calls to determine the locations of the file. The distributed file system returns the FS data input stream to the client. FS data input stream contains DFS input stream which takes care of the interactions with the data node and name node. DFS input stream has the data node addresses for the first few blocks in the file. Then client calls the read method on the stream. DFS input stream already have list of data nodes. This connects to the data node which has the first block of the file and keeps streaming the block until the end of the block is reached. Then connection to that data node is closed and same process is repeated with the data node having the next block. Since DFS input stream holds addresses of the first few blocks in a file, parallelly it will also communicate with the name node to get the data node locations for more blocks of the file if needed. When the client has finished reading, it calls close function on the FS data input stream. Now we will look at how files are written to HDFS. The first step is to create a file. The client creates the file by calling create function on the distributed file system. The distributed file system makes an RPC call to the name node to create a new file in the file system's namespace. The name node performs various checks to make sure the file does not already exist and also it checks whether the client has the right permission to create the file. If these checks pass, the name node makes a record of the new file. Otherwise, the file creation fails and the client is thrown an IO exception. The distributed file system returns an FS data output stream for the client. Client uses it to write data into the HDFS. FS data output stream contains DFS output stream which handles the communication with the data nodes and name node. As the client writes data, the DFS output stream splits it into packets. These packets are enqueued into a queue called data queue. There is one more component called data streamer. The data queue is consumed by this data streamer. The data streamer asks the name node to allocate new blocks to store the replicas. Now the replication process starts by creating a pipeline using data nodes. Here the replication level is 3. So there are three data nodes in the pipeline. The data streamer streams the packets into the first data node in the pipeline. The data node stores each packet received and forwards it to the next data node in the pipeline. There is another queue called as acknowledgement queue, ACK queue, which is maintained by DFS output stream to store the packets which are waiting for acknowledgement from data nodes. A packet is removed from the acknowledgement queue only when it has been acknowledged by all the data nodes in the pipeline. If any data node failure occurs, packets from this queue are used to reinitiate the operation. After the client is done with the writing process, it calls the close method which results in flushing the remaining data packet to the pipeline followed by waiting for acknowledgement. Once the final acknowledgement is received, the name node is contacted 
to tell that the file write operation is completed. 